Hebrews 3. Therefore, holy brothers and sisters, partners in heavenly calling, take notice of Yeshua, the emissary, and Kohen Gadol we affirm. He was faithful to the one who appointed him in his house, as was Moses also. For he has been considered worthy of more glory than Moses, even as the builder of the house has more honor than the house. For every house is built by someone, but the builder of all things is God. Now Moses surely was faithful in all God's house as a servant for a witness of all things to be spoken later. But Messiah, a son, is over God's house, and we are his house, if we hold firm to our boldness and what we are proud to hope. Therefore, just as the Ruach HaKadosh says today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion on the day of testing in the wilderness. There your fathers put me to the test, though they saw my works for 40 years. Therefore, I was provoked by this generation, and I said, they always go astray in their heart and they have not known my ways. As I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter my rest. Take care, brothers and sisters, that none of you has an evil heart of unbelief that falls away from the living God, but encourage one another day by day, as long as it is called today, so that none of you may be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. For we have become partners in Messiah. If we hold our original conviction firm until the end, as it is said today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion. Now which ones heard and rebelled? Indeed, was it not all who came out of Egypt with Moses? And with whom he was provoked for forty years, was it not with those who sinned, those bodies, whose bodies who fell in the wilderness? And to whom he did swear that they would not enter his rest? Was it not those who were disobedient? So we see that they were not able to enter in because of lack of trust. Hebrews 4. Let us fear then, though a promise of entry in his rest left open, some of you also would seem to have fallen short, for we also have had the good news proclaimed to us, just as they did. But the word they heard did not help them, because they were not unified with those who listened in faith. For we have trusted, for we who have trusted are entering into that rest. It is just as God said, so in my wrath I swore, they shall never enter my rest. Even though his works were finished since the foundation of the world, for someone, for somewhere he has spoken about the seventh day in this way, and God rested on the seventh day from all his works. And again in the passage, they shall never enter my rest. So then it remains to some to enter it. Yet those who formerly had good news proclaimed to them did not enter because of disobedience. Again, God appointed a certain day and today, saying through David after so long a time, just as it had been before. Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. For if Joshua had given them rest, God would not have spoken of another day later on. So there remains a Shabbat rest for the people of God. For the one who has entered God's rest has also ceased from his own work, just as God did it from his. Let us therefore make every effort to enter that rest, so that no one may fall through the same pattern of disobedience. For the word of God is living and active and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing right through to a separation of soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart. No creature is hidden from him, but all are naked and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must give account. Therefore, since we have a great Kohen Gadol who has passed through the heavens, Yeshua ben Elohim, let us hold firmly to our confessed allegiance. For we do not have a Kohen Gadol who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has been tempted in, tempted in all the same ways, yet without sin. Therefore, let us draw near to the throne of grace with boldness so that we may receive mercy and find grace for help in time of need. Hebrews 5. For every Kohen Gadol taken from among men is appointed to, to act on behalf of people in matters relating to God so that he may offer gifts and sacrifices to for sins. He is able to empathize with the ignorant and deluded since he himself also is subject to weakness. For this reason, he has to make offerings for sin just as for people, so also for himself. And no one takes honor for himself, but only when he is called by God as Aaron was. So also Messiah did not glorify himself to be made Kohen Gadol, rather it was God who said to him, You are my son, today I have become your father. And he says in a different passage, You are a Kohen forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. In the days of his life on earth, Yeshua offered both prayers and pleas with loud crying and tears to the one able to save him from death, and he was heard because of his reverence. Though he was the son, he learned obedience from what he suffered, and once made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation to all who obey him, called by God, Kohen Gadol, according to the order of Melchizedek. About this subject, there is much for us to say. 
and it is hard to explain since you have become sluggish in hearing. For although you ought to be teachers by this time, again you need someone to teach you the basics of God's sayings. You have come to need milk, not solid food. For anyone living on milk is inexperienced with the teaching about righteousness. He is an infant, but solid food is for the mature, who through practice have their senses trained to discern both good and evil.